Taurus and welcome to the Angel Cooperative channel. My name is Liza. I'm here to do your monthly tarot horoscope for March of 2020. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to be using the After Tarot deck, which I'm excited. This is a new change of pace. Um, it's a fun deck, so it's a little different than the normal tarot. So um, I'm excited to be using it for you guys this month. And I'll be also using a bunch of oracle cards, runes, crystals, and, um, and other decks. All right, let's see what's coming in for Taurus for March. Also, it's exciting. We're coming into spring. The weather is changing. Um, so many transformative energy in this month, which is beautiful. Let's see what we have coming in for you guys. Um, also, a reminder, this is a general reading. This is all for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So if this is um, your Sun sign, please check out the other signs in your chart because sometimes they may also resonate with you. Oh, sorry, my puppy over here is whining. What's the matter, baby? Hi. She likes to come into the reading. She wants the attention. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have coming in for you guys this month. We have the Knight of Cups. Wow, Taurus. Um, the Seven of Cups reversed. The Four of Swords. And the Page of Swords. And your overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and let's also pull some clarifications with the White Sage Tarot. Oops. Okay, let's clarify the cards for Taurus from March of 2020. <laughs> My puppy is sitting on my lap and she just loves to be in on the readings. It's like she's wanting to know what she's missing, what's going on over here. She's so nosy. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is the card that wants to come out. We have the Hierophant. The Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh. Seven of Cups reversed and Seven of Cups upright. So, wow. Interesting. Eight of Cups. And also the hanged man. Oh, wow. Okay, so oh, also your overall energy is the world. So this is going to be going along with the eight of pentacles. Let me also pull some runes for you guys. Let's see what further clarifications we can get for Taurus for the month of March. And we have the sun. We have the warrior rune. Oh, and we have the star. I love, love the energy that's coming in for you guys. Um, I do feel that there is, um, there is some really big changes. I mean, I think it's more about decisions and choices that are coming in, but a lot of things are going to start to make themselves clear to you, um, of course, with this month. But let me pull um, just a few crystals because I'd also like to know what healing energy you need to focus on. So let's pull a few crystals. Okay, so we have, oh, rose quartz. Yes, that makes sense. Um, love energy. We also have black obsidian. And the last one we have is rutilated quartz. Okay, yes, makes sense. A lot of these, I, I can see why these stones are also coming out. Um, you know, I do feel there is, um, this connection to love with the rose quartz. I love, I love rose quartz. It's one of my favorite. I always wear it on my wrist as well, um, which I get at the Angel Cooperative. It's, they're great, um, they're great bracelets. I also wear my Shungite bracelet all the time, which is interesting because a lot of the stones here, this is black obsidian, but it's just the same kind of protective, protective energy as, like uh, that I wear shungite um, and when they're together it's like you're kind of protecting your heart you're kind of protecting your emotions and I feel like that is also coming into play here and that's where all the decisions are coming in but I do feel that you know there is the eight of pentacles so I do feel that um, you're still going to be um, feeling like there is a lot of accomplishment and you know with the world this is also completion so the world is also about um, you know, putting it out there and, you know, completing something, having success, 
Um, there is some things that you're going to be very proud of this month. Um, also, I think it's because of the hard work that you're putting in and it's going to really reflect on who you are and it's also going to help you advance into whatever it is that you want. It could be relationship, it could be career, but pentacle energy usually is connected to money um, and I do feel like that could also be coming into play here. And it's interesting, I'm just noticing here in the background, we have the Ace of Cups and we also have the Three of Cups celebration and new beginnings here. So I do feel like that's also going to be coming into play possibly even next month. So I do feel like this month is where you're putting the work in. You're putting in the effort. Um, there's a lot of shift and changes coming in because I feel like with spring, it's all about transformation. And I feel like that is also happening for Taurus this month. Um, you know, in the past energy here, you know, we have the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like you've been through, um, you know, you've had a lot of connections where you've also maybe even given your cup away. Um, but it's also, as you can see, he's sitting here and he's drinking the cup. So I feel like he is enjoying the things that have been offered to him. And I feel like it's, this is you, like, you know, enjoying the things that people have given you. The Hierophant is also about learning and teaching and, and having um, a good sense of what is important and also taking relationships to the next level. So for, especially for those of um, Tauruses that are already coupled, I do feel like there is this shift, this movement into um, deeper meaning of emotion. Um, but the thing is, you know, I do feel there is this protective energy over your heart. We do have the rose quartz here and um, rose quartz is all about emotion. And I feel like you guys are, um, you're feeling very loved and um, connected, but the thing is you're still very protective um, and you're still very worried about um, putting your heart out there and, you know, being vulnerable. I feel like it's that vulnerability that you're afraid of um, and getting your heart hurt because I do feel like there were situations in the past where you did put yourself out there and you did come out of it feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to open myself up to where somebody is going to reject me or somebody's going to take advantage of me or somebody's not going to appreciate me um, for who I am and what I have to offer. Or maybe even the fact that they're not you know, meeting you in the middle with a full cup as much as you are, you're giving your cup to them. And, and, you know, I also feel like because the Knight of Cups is here, I feel like it's like you're enjoying the love that was given to you, but maybe you're trying to find if there's more out there. And I see, I see that here because we have the, the Seven of Cups reversed along with the Seven of Cups upright, which is interesting because they're the same card, same meaning, but one's reversed and one is upright. It's like a double meaning, but it's also reminding you that you have so many great um, possibilities here. Um, some things that you don't see, you may feel a little overwhelmed, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of really good promising um, propositions here. It could even be, especially if you are um, a single Taurus, I do feel like there are going to be some new um, love interests coming in because I do feel like this is more connected with love and emotion. Um, but the thing is, you know, I do feel like you're also the reason why it's reversed and it's upright. It's that you're guarded and you're afraid to make a choice. Um, and it could be even that you're, you're not feeling like maybe you're even ready to make a choice. Um, and that could also be coming into play. It's because of that protective energy. Um, we do have the sun here, so I do feel like this is a time that you're going to be shining. Um, people are going to be noticing you. It's going to be more of a cause for celebration. Also, maybe just getting yourself out there um, and being more visible, having people, you, you know, you're getting people's attention. Um, and I feel like that's why all these cups are being presented to you. But it may not be that you're actually ready to make choices right now. So, but that's okay. But you know what? It's good to feel wanted and it's good to feel loved. So take that energy and, ex and appreciate it and accept it and understand that there is love and there is connection out there waiting for you. You just have to wait until you are ready. Because I do feel like you're going through a time of healing and especially with the Four of Swords here, this is all about... Um, healing, taking a break, taking time off, um, taking a, you know time to really reflect and to um, more of like healing energy. And I do feel that, 
you know, you don't want to be jumping into anything right now. And I do feel like it's because you're also very guarded and you're also very protective like of yourself. Um, the Eight of Cups is also focusing on things from the past that you're walking away from. So I do feel like you're healing from that at this time period in this month, um, which is okay. And I feel like, you know, we do need to sometimes have that period of healing in order to, you know, focus in on what it is that we truly want and to really find, because, you know, with the Eight of Cups, it's, you know, you're the... To, Come to that to come to the completion. Sorry, I can't speak today. Is to find the two of cups, and of course, with the eight of cups energy, it's focusing in on the past things that have. Um, I feel like things that have let you down, or people who have let you down emotionally, and it's to reminding you um, that not to give up because we do have the warrior rune. It's like you want to go and find that two of cups, but you also have to have this period of healing. So I feel like that is very important. We also have the black obsidian here. So this is also reminding you, um, this is also protective energy. Um, also, you know, it's, it's a, if this is a period of healing your heart. So I do feel like that is very important. Um, we have here coming in towards the end of the month, the page of swords. Um, and this could even be an air sign that's coming into play or this could be somebody um, presenting something or even bringing good news into you um, that, you know, even though you're in this hanged man energy, it's going to be pretty promising. Um, we also have the star car, um, the star rune and the star rune is also, um, it's also connected to healing energy, but it's also connected to manifestation. So I do feel that um, there could be really good news coming in towards the end of the month. This could be an air sign could be um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, um, but not necessarily. Um, you know, the pages are also very young energy, but it also could be, um, you know, receiving messages or new news that's coming in. You know, it's interesting because he's standing here. Usually the page of swords, um, you know, is ready to, it looks like they're ready to off, you know, like go with their sword, but it looks like he's already kind of went through something. And there's people here in the background. So, it's almost like he's um, ready to take the next step. So I feel like there may be even new news of somebody who wants to, um, you know, connect with you or, or you know, bring you new um, information that you need to hear. So this could also be very promising. I'm going to also clarify that because I want to understand, you know, with the hangman, I feel like you're still in this period of healing and kind of, you know, more of an observant energy where you're, you're, getting this information but you're not really ready to make take any action because the hangman is one of inaction and also is the four of swords is as well so i feel like this month is going to be still a month of inaction but there is going to be some good news coming in here but i would like to get further clarification so let me just pull um another tarot card oh yes here this one just popped out the two of pentacles and it's also about making choices um because I do feel like you may even be presented with one or more options here. Um, of course, yes, we do have that going on with the Seven of Cups. But, you know, this is more about creating balance as well and finding something that um, yeah, you can, um, I feel like you can feel balanced with it. You can take something on that you don't feel too overwhelmed with. Um, as you can see, it looks like he has a handle of it here in this deck. And he's, um, he's like kind of like he's juggling these two pentacles and he's able to walk and juggle the pentacles at the same time where he seems to have more control over what's happening. So I feel like that may be also coming into play towards the end of the month. All right, so let me pull a couple of extra cards. I'm going to pull the Whispers of Love card for Taurus for March. Let's see what card we have with the Whispers of Love deck. Okay, this is beautiful. It says physical touch. It says a tender touch can mean so much. So I do feel there will be somebody who will be reaching out to you um, physically to you know show you their affection. Um, and it may be a way of them getting your attention because maybe it is that you just don't see them. Um, they could even be physically coming into your presence in order to get your attention in some way because they want to um, show you their affection. Um, towards you. So I do feel like, you know, Taurus, you are attracting um, a lot of attention this month. So it's great, but it's also going to 
create some trouble with making choices here. <laughs> And we also have new beginnings. Oh my goodness, new beginnings. Something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities. I do feel like something new may be um, emerging. So, you know, of course there's gonna be options, but really you're gonna have to decide which one it is that you want and understand that really you have the control um, and that you have the right to make whatever choice it is that you want. All right, I'm also going to pull a God, Goddess Guidance Oracle. Let's see what goddess comes in for Taurus for the month of March. Oh, I love this card. It's Guinevere and it's true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Wow. And I feel like, yeah, this is like something that you've been manifesting, Taurus. So definitely if it's not somebody you're already connected to, or this may be somebody new that's coming in, um, you know, really look and see. Like, I feel like, especially with rutilated quartz, this is a time for you to focus in on intuition, your intuition and understanding who this person is and feeling that true connection. It is true, tr like a real true connection. So I, I do feel like it's going to be a cause for celebration coming up, but um, I do feel like this may be coming into play in the month of March. So that is exciting for Taurus. All right, well guys, have a wonderful month. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the Angel Cooperative channel. And I will see you again in the month of um, April. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're already coming into April. All right, well have a wonderful month, guys, and I will see you again next month. Take care, bye.